Hey everyone, uh, this is Finding Value. I want to go over natural gas and the opportunities in natural gas. I see a lot of companies out there that look really good right now. I actually purchased some uh, a little while ago and they're looking good so I wanted to share them. So this is natural gas. You're going to lose me here. We'll jump in. Uh, so that what this is, this is the gold to oil ratio. So oil's cheap up top, gold's expensive or gold's cheap on the bottom. Gold's cheap on the bottom, oil's cheap up top. Look at this, it's never been anywhere near this. Right now we're, we're hitting around the 40-ish range. There it is right there, 47. So right now we are right up here. We are stinking cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So here's the gold to oil ratio in real time. 47, we reached up to like 100 in that ridiculous May time frame. Uh, US oil gas ratio hits highest since 2013. And it's, it's this, is, this is natural gas. So when they say gas, it's oil to natural gas. So we are extremely cheap on natural gas. And I'm gonna go to a real time. We're at 16.14. Uh, so 10 is kind of really expensive. And we're, we're starting to, to come back down here. So we're down, we're down here, which is still not horrible. Like six is expensive, but 16, still pretty cheap. This is a 10 year seasonal study. And looking from January to December, you can tell that the cheap spots in this September, October timeframe. So we're, we're in a good spot to be buying some natural gas. This is the natural gas uh, in storage. You notice, we were pretty low here in 2019, but we're, we're, we cycle up and down. And I, I think it's a good time to be buying. And I think we're gonna come somewhere in here, but uh, doesn't look too bad. Here's the natural gas inventory spread versus natural gas futures. This is the futures price here. And here is the spread between, this is the inventory here. So when they draw down, prices go up on the, on the drawdowns. Obviously, in the spikes up, that natural gas usually goes down. This is uh, natural gas production. So we still have some room to move up production-wise uh, in natural gas. This is crude oil. This is natural gas here, so natural gas. It's not looking, not looking too bad. These are some of the companies that I like, the small mid-range, and, and there's one large cap. So these are small mid-range companies. I think that's a sweet spot. SWN, CNX, RRC, DVN, and EOG. These are all natural gas producers here. So I think uh, natural gas is, a, is an excellent opportunity. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run into... <clears throat> go into some companies here and show you what they look like. This is SWN. And man, it looks good. I'm going to open it up just a little bit for you to show you what I'm talking about here. So SWN, now this is looking really good to me. And I think everybody should be getting in these companies now. So we've got a cross here. We've got a cross, so that's bullish. Lots of big volume, lots of big updates, small pullbacks, big updates, small kind of drifting, leaking out sellers. Now, right here, bullish engulfing, and here we go higher, right? It's moving. I'm a, I was a buyer right here, but I, this is, I didn't want to share natural gas until I saw movement with everyone else. I don't want, you know, this is still early in the game and I think the opportunities are right now. So SWN, I am long, uh, I loaded up here. I think it's still, this is the time to start getting long. Look at these guys, we got a, we got a nice, uh, it's right there at the peak about, of, of about a breakout. So if this thing breaks, I mean, we got a really good buy point here. So SWN, another one that I purchased, RRC. Uh, it's Range Resources Corporation. Again, I can walk you through this. Nice bearish piercing here. Pops up, nice small pullback with a bullish engulfing. And that's what I'm looking for in all those other precious metals charts. I'm looking at all these different charts. Boom, higher, right? And it's, it's working through We've got a nice big move here. I like it right now. RRC, 
looks good, go long, it's natural gas, mid pure, mid size producer. Uh, another one, Devon Energy is kind of scraping the, along here, right, in this bottom. Nice big bullish engulfing here, guys. I like the volumes here too. I think this is one to go long in, DVM, DVN. It's a natural gas producer. Another one, uh, what is it, N, CNX, CNX Resources Corp. Look at the big updates here. I mean, this right here is so much power. And then the slow leak out of the sellers. I see all these big candlesticks everywhere. I am so bullish on this, guys. I think it's good to just pick some up, let it sit. Eight years from now, you'll be, we'll be doing high fives because this thing's been, you know, a 10 bagger or something like that. This is, this is a good one, CNX. Uh, and then uh, this is a large cap if you want a little less risk, EOG. Uh, looks like we kind of did this double bottom coming up here. Really low. I think if you just want to add a teeny bit, you know, an EOG, not too bad. And another one, this is an oil company, uh, Suncor SU. Man, look at this. Right back, bullish piercing. I would be a buyer right now, right there. Uh, $12.28 SU, Suncor Energy. That one looks good. So we looked at some natural gas. We, we can see that the oil to gold ratio is cheap for oil, very cheap. Natural gas is in, kind of in line or a little bit cheap to, to oil. Uh, we've got the seasonality. Uh, we've got winter coming up. So I think it's a good time to be entering now your, your positions. Uh, I gave you a couple small, smaller to mid cap natural gas companies, one large cap natural gas company. And this is a large cap oil company that looks really, really good right now. So this is Finding Value. Uh, subscribe if you like these types of videos. Uh, I think we've got a lot of opportunity in front of us in terms of uh, 10 baggers, 20 baggers. There's so much opportunity right now that I'm, I'm running out of cash. I, I'm, I'm like almost fully invested in, in, in all this stuff. So get out there, check these companies out for yourself. Um, look at their balance sheets. You know, let me know if you think there's any other companies in the comments section that you think I should look at, look into. Uh, I know we've got great recommendations from people who've left comments. Thank you for leaving comments. Uh, subscribe rate, do all that stuff. Thank you.